one of the selling points of getting uh, my long mill to my wife was I would have the ability to make holiday decorations. Well, holidays are coming up, so decided I better get a jump on things and start making some. This first one here is a jack-o'-lantern, and we're just briefly going to go over all the different steps uh, I took to get here. But before that, if you haven't hit that subscribe and bell button to keep up with all the videos that come out. So let's get into this build. All right, we're going to start off with some prep work. First, sand it down. Then go and put a couple layers of shellac. Then, of course, I sanded it down after that. Then uh, went and put a white uh, base on it. Then uh, hit it with, I think, two or three coats of orange uh, and then let it dry for 24 hours. Next step is the aura mask. Uh, this stuff is fun, let me tell you. <laughs> but make sure you have something long and that you can use to work out all the air bubbles and kind of make sure you get a real tight seal uh, against your paint. So take your time here. Um, the better job you do now, the less issues, issues you'll have down the line. But as you'll see, you can make little band-aids um, to kind of help with any tears or rips you might have when you're getting it put on. So one thing I would suggest on your long piece is make sure have a soft edge that you can use, but it's sturdy enough that it'll stay straight. All right, after the aura mask, we're gonna cut it out. For this cut, I did a V-carve and I used a 90 degree uh, V-bit. I also used a, I wanna say a six millimeter down cut end mill. And that was so when it cut, the bad edge would be at the bottom and not at the top. Um, Here's an example of when I used the top one. Uh, you'll also notice here while I was doing that pocket, uh, I'm not, not sure what happened, but uh, had it go off course. So instead of finishing that out, I decided, hey, let's just get this thing cut out and move on with the process. So just save some time. We can make that fix uh, with some putty as you'll see here. But first uh, we're gonna sand get rid of all any burrs there are uh, like i said i had that pocket go a wire so needed to uh clean up that also needed to clean up the back since that down cut bit pushed all the cuts back down towards the bottom uh, here just putting in some putty and then we let that dry before we come in and we do some shellac on there to help uh, with the paint and also just kind of sealing this board up again this is going to be outside so want to make sure we don't let any water get in so here you can see uh, routing out the back and that's so these fit uh, better into the eyes for the jack-o'-lantern um, here, uh, put it on the second color the black and I think I did three coats just make sure I got a nice uh, good coat in there. There I am fixing where we put that putty in and getting it back to orange. Um, so, and I just use painter's tape to get those um, painted out. Oh, removing the aura mask with tweezers. So, best way I could find was get in a corner, you would kind of peel off a little bit of the paint and then after you get that, you can get the mask peel up. Uh, it is easy to nick corners, so it is going to take some more practice getting that done. But overall, I was really impressed with the results I got. A um, little time consuming, but it was worth it. I, I think it came out really, really well. Uh, like the colors. Was going to paint the teeth white, but figured can do something. Uh, do that next time. Do a little bit more color. Here I'm just fixing up some of the orange. Uh, you can just use some painter's tape to uh, mask off areas. Uh, here just putting on another sealer. Uh, this is a spray-on uh, glossy, um, not a shellac, just but regular spray paint, uh, glossy finish, enamel protection, something like that. Here for, to hold the LEDs in, using an art hook, and then you just take your pliers, don't have my pliers with me, and then you just bend this back. And then I use those 
like that to put pressure here and just use that in there, screwed it in there to the board. So this pack of like 30 cost me like five bucks. So cheap little fix there for hardware. I can bend them with your hands if you wanted to, but like that. And then they just sit in like that and hold them in. Uh, as for the leg, this was just a quick idea I had. Use a door hinge and a 2x4. Um, I am going to rethink that, but for right now, it works for what I'm doing. So, let's look at the final piece. Well, I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, I'm enjoying it. My kids and my wife are enjoying it. So, overall, definitely going to start making some more of these and trying some different patterns. Uh, my daughter's already wanting to do a skeleton, so maybe you'll see that in an upcoming one. Make sure you check back in October when we look at this and see how it upheld to the weather. Thank you for watching. Again, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. And if you didn't, hit the thumbs down. It's all good. So until next time, Keep making stuff.